Welcome back to part 5 of converting a dead CDJ1000 Mark III to MIDI with a Teensy. I made a few adjustments to the board. I added another set of headers from underneath the Teensy just uh, because I decided to do all of the buttons and also because the uh, HotQ LEDs have three LEDs. So I put another seven connections on there. What we're going to do now is we're going to put on some two-way headers to bring power from the CDJ. This is going to be a uh, five volt. And then we're going to connect the, um, the tracks from the five volt to power the Teensy. So that's these little jumpers that I'm putting in now. So we're just going to bridge the, the connections over from the five volt to the tracks on the bottom of the board. There we go. So that's now 5 volt and ground coming from that two-way header. Here we're going to put 5 volt to the uh, optical encoders and the ground as well. So that will power the encoders for the jog wheel movement. And also I bridged the ground from the jog press to the ground on the optical encoders. So that leaves us with the jog press, encoder A and encoder B. Now we're going to put on um, some more two-way headers for the 12 volt for the V LED and G LED. Although it's got three there, I actually add a fourth one. So we have one that comes up from the power supply. And then we have one for each of the three boards that we've got in the system. And a quick test to make sure that there are no short circuits. Looks a bit of a spider's nest at the moment, but we'll soon have that tidied up. I'm using the same um, tool as before and we just uh, crimp the cables and then they just click into the headers the crimping is pretty much the same as I showed in the previous video and they just push into the back of the headers until they click And now we have uh, the B LED and G LED from the main board. Tried to tidy the cables up so that um, these were underneath everything else.
And now we have the VLED and GLED from the pitch slider board. I just feed that underneath just to keep it out of the way. There we go, that is the 12 volt lines sorted for each of the boards. Now we're going to start the process of taking the wires from each of the boards and crimping them into the Molex headers. Um, I'm just going to let this play through. Uh, I don't really need to, to talk about it. You've seen me crimp before. Um, I have a diagram at the end showing where everything needs to go. So um, let's just let this play through and uh, enjoy the music for a little while.
I left all of the hot cues and the hot cue LEDs on the, the on the extensions from the bottom. There's still a few pieces. Uh, there's still a few left over. Uh, I think there's maybe another five or six connections that we can use. I haven't done the touch or the break yet, um, so you might be able to use those. Uh, I was thinking of taking those out and changing them to digital encoders. So they would need two connections each. Uh, I'll leave that up to you, decide what you want to do with them. So that's it, everything is now connected up. I will put a high res version of this image available for you. So you can see what's connected to what pins and what colors I've used on the wires. And that is for the top and for the bottom. Thank you for watching. The next video is going to be testing the buttons and testing the LEDs. And then we will actually look at putting the Teensy in with some test code.